Natasha. Debbie. Show. The show. <laughs> Welcome to it. <laughs> Just two patriotic girls. Learning about the world. So please, don't take us the wrong way. Hello, and welcome to the episode that'll make us all feel poor as hell. <laughs> That's probably true. Mm -hmm. And depress us. <laughs> but I can't wait to watch. <laughs> Just something about it, you have to watch it, even though you know you probably can't afford it. Probably can't. Well, we know we can't. We're going to start a GoFundMe. <laughs> we have the Buy Me a Coffee link in the description of all of our videos. <laughs> Anyway, before we get on with the with the show today, uh, what Debbie's got her thing. If you like today's episode, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget, each like we receive on every video is a virtual it hug is. Give for me Debbie. A hug. Hit that like button. <laughs> and also, we'll go hug a puppy for you. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll rent you a video at Blockbuster and send it over. That that's more likely. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> that's less likely um so yeah today we're checking out something that has been talked about a lot in comments we've we've watched uh trek trendy that's mm -hmm. the guy his channel we've watched a couple of his videos now on a couple different uh trains and things and even the queen mary and they have been amazing they have they've all been really great uh we've watched in australia we've watched in, in england <clears throat> but one thing that everyone said in the comments was the train ride I'd like to do was the Orient Express. Yes. Now, I know of the Orient Express, but I don't know anything about it. Never seen it. Never even thought it was on a radar for something I'd ever look at. Always heard about it. Never really took a look at it. No. I haven't even read Murder on the Orient Express, let alone seen the movies they've made, which they don't look good, but... Well, we'll hopefully see. there won't be a murder in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> so today's video is 28 hours on the world's most luxurious train, Ooh. the Venice Simplon Orient Express. And that's what we heard from you guys. You all said you this is the trip you'd want to do. This is supposed to be, from what we were told, right? The mm -hmm. most luxurious way to travel. And I'm sure the most expensive, too. I'm sure it is, but, you know... Maybe when we're over there. Oh, this is not happening. <laughs> don't kidding. even. I was like, don't even <laughs> we say that. We can't afford that. No. Again, the buy me a coffee link is in the description of all of our videos. <laughs> I hope you're getting the sarcasm there. Maybe we'll change that to a buy me a Orient Express. <laughs> buy us some tickets. <laughs> we're about to dive into this video and finally check out this insane, luxurious. More. I can't wait till he tells us what this costs because I oh, have no yeah. idea. Um, but, uh, I literally have no clue. Maybe it's not as bad, but if it's the world's most luxurious, come on. You think it's pretty good. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I'm jealous already, but let's get into it and check it out. It's time for the Orient Express. All aboard. Toot toot. A luxury train leaves from Calais at 4.30, so in order to catch this, I'll hop on the Eurostar in London, and after a short ride under the English Channel, I'm met by the Belmont team in Lille, and transferred by road over to today's iconic train. Hello there, and welcome back to the channel, and to a very special Hi, event today, where we're going to be riding on the Orient Express. This is something I've dreamt about for many years, and it's probably the epitome of luxurious travel, so without any more to say, let's Let's get straight on board. I also have a very special surprise in store for you. Is it free tickets? Can we just talk about how crazy this is? This train is. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a room? Oh my god. <laughs> how is this a train? It's a freaking room. Pause. What? Rewind. Wow. Hit play. <laughs> oh my god. How is this a train? <laughs> Look at that room. Yeah, I'm looking at that room, all right. That is like a luxury hotel. I mean, a little smaller, but other than that, yeah, that's more than a luxury. That's freaking amazing. I didn't know anything about this, and now I'm seeing why there's... What's all the fuss about? Oh, okay. Yeah. I think I see. Look at those walls. They're all shiny. <laughs> struggling to process this. I can understand. Bear in mind, a lot of my experiences so far have involved the likes of Amtrak. Hey. This is in a very different league. Yeah. 
Right, okay, I need to compose myself. There is a rational reason for my unrestrained excitement here. I booked and paid handsomely for the twin cabin. Not in my wildest dreams did I anticipate an upgrade of this magnitude. Bear in mind, the Grand Suites retail north of $20,000. So Hold up. Bear in mind, the Grand Suites... That's in pounds. 23,000 pounds. Oh, that's his total I'm looking at. Over here. Good freaking crap. Yeah, we ain't doing this. <laughs> For one night. Um, yeah. Sunday to Monday. It says two passengers, though. Over here, I'm confused. Yeah, still. Yeah? Maybe he has a friend with Rewind him. Rewind that again. But he said it was that much per, for one night. For my unrestrained excitement here, I booked and paid handsomely for the twin cabin. Not in my wildest dreams did I anticipate an upgrade of this magnitude. Bear in mind, the Grand Suites retail north of $20,000. Whatever. So something I'm not used to at all is that my bags were totally taken care of and they're currently up here waiting for me to unpack. Good so of course Lord. I'm not traveling as light as I the usually would cool. because I have another companion coming along. Uh, my lovely girlfriend Millie. Girlfriend. Say yeah. hello Millie. Right. <laughs> well yeah, you take your girlfriend on that one. Oh, yeah, right. well, first you of better. all we have a pre-departure drink. The Clico just here. Well is in there, we also have some caviar. So Millie, what's your uh, thoughts on trying caviar? That we're in a suite now, this is the first of many champagne bottles we're able to consume. In fact, it's bottomless throughout the journey. This is complemented with fresh fruits and perhaps the best caviar I've ever had the pleasure of trying. So it's caviar it's time. $32. This is the first on a train and in fact, I think it's the very first time that I've had caviar on the ground. Well, I can confirm I love it just as much on a train as I do on a plane. Same. Same. So back to our journey, the first segment will take us some 200 miles south <coughs> to Paris, where we'll pick up the rest of the passengers. Currently there are only 11 on board this huge train, where the staff definitely outnumber the guests. I feel like it's that time of the video where we need to have a look around yes. the suite, because you've seen it in the background, but let's have a proper look around all the features because it is utterly mind-blowing. And I've just been informed of some of the costs of some of the things, I mean even the mirror that I'm resting my hand on just here, apparently that costs 27,000 euros. Um, so I'd better not break it. Yeah, we'd be I'm touching it. Istanbul Grand Suite, designed and built by the finest artisanal craftsmen wow. in Europe. The double bed of course being the main attraction on a sleeper train, but this wouldn't be out of place in a five star hotel. Right. Aside from the light controls, the blue buttons dotted around the cabin are for your butler who is on call 24 seven. What? Wow. And as for the handcrafted- I just went up like 20 octaves there. Ah, uh, you sure did. A butler <laughs> on call. You know, I keep going back in my head to where he showed the price. Um, he, he said 20,000 for the room, but it showed it for one person, the suite, you know? And so then it showed on the side the 23,000 pounds, but it said two people, so mm -hmm. just saying. Well, over there it said uh, per person 11,500. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it wasn't 20,000 just for oh. one person. It's a little misleading. That means there's a chance. <laughs> that's why I'm like, <laughs> there's zero chance of that happening. Buy me a coffee in the wank of this <laughs> Please know we're kidding. kidding. Totally joking, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Unless 20,000 if you want to, then. Uh, this is so freaking gorgeous. And it, the, the wood, oh my, this is not what I expected, but I'm more jealous now than I thought I would yeah. be. Wooden headboard. I can't begin to imagine the amount of hours that this took to complete. Jeez. While your room is fully air conditioned with controls by the suite entrance, you can open the window for additional ventilation. This also provides an excellent vantage point for some of the more scenic parts of the journey. There's great storage too, with two wardrobes to hang your jackets, dresses, and shirts. Huh. Naturally, as the rest of the suite, it's adorned in beautiful, highly polished wood. What kind of wood? You also have a sofa, which I'm told will convert to an additional bed, should you be traveling with a very lucky child, though this rarely happens. I'm actually taking a quick glance at the breakfast menu now. This is very punchy. Caviar, lobster, and truffle, to name a few. Come on, how pretentiously awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sweet bathroom because you know it's the Orient Express. Basically, Freaking marble. it is dinner time in 15 minutes, so I need to change. On the Orient Express, of course, as you've noticed already, I need to be relatively formally dressed. Mm. Dinner 
you need to be even more so, of course. So um, this isn't going to quite cut it. Yeah. Well, there we go. Nice. Um, I have to say, this is the most formal I've ever been on the channel. Yeah. So uh, do bear with me. But there is the request that you have to dress formally, or else you have to eat your dinner in your room. And whilst I do like my NASA hoodie, what make do with the NASA badge? And then Insert photo of Natasha looking like a James Bond um, right. girl right here. Throw your tux on. Oh, not the tux. Not, oh, it's a James the dress. Bond girl. You did. The dress. <laughs> a Bond girl. Yeah. And yeah. well, now we really have to go. I'm just saying, I will rock that sucker. Mm. <laughs> Could, yes, you buy will. me a coffee link. <laughs> 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 Done with that. We'll bring it up again. Um, but yeah, I'm all for dressing for the right occasion. All formal. Absolutely. Oh, definitely. And uh, this is the coolest thing. I see why you all said that you wanted to do this yes. trip. I totally get it now. Mm -hmm. I did not. I'm, this is just awesome. I can't wait to see what they're eating. Well, this is the event, isn't it? Walking all the way through the train. Thank you. I'm going on a proper adventure, Millie. It certainly beats walking to dinner on Amtrak, eh? I can't say Amtrak on here. There are actually three restaurants on the train, though as only 11 passengers are currently on board, they've opened just one this evening, the beautiful and elegantly designed Cote d'Azur. Launched for the 2022 season, we're among the first to try Chef Jean and Burr's culinary experience. Your dinner is included, though the option to splurge for caviar is there if you wish. As we're in a suite, I'll continue my obligatory bottomless champagne drinking. We're offered fresh Parisian bread, complemented by a saffron and orange butter. To quote Millie, this is the best bread I've ever had. Hmm. Looks good. As we wait for our food, we continue our slow trundle into Paris. To start, I have the lobster salad with avocado and burrata. Aside from being elegantly presented, it was absolutely divine. A delicate fusion of flavours, leaving me wanting more. But worry not, right? we're just getting started. Next up is the beef wellington, or arguably a more deconstructed version, with buttery flaky pastry and the beef itself tender and succulent, resting on a bed of mushroom. It was phenomenal, comfortably surpassing any dish I've ever had on a first-class flight. I actually feel that's quite insulting to even suggest that. <laughs> Next up is a choice of a cheese board or sorbet. Ooh, I opt mm. for the latter, oh, feeling pretty board. full already and knowing dessert is just around the corner. It's fresh and importantly light, leaving me with a small amount of room for the finale. Wait, there's dessert too? I know, that's... A and just like that, we arrive into Paris Gare de l'Est. This is where the remaining <coughs> passengers will board, taking guest numbers to around 30 in total. Okay. And as if by cue, our dessert is here. The tiramisu souffle, coupled oh, with yes. a mascarpone ice cream. The souffle is light, fluffy, but to me didn't have a huge level Never of flavour. Never had a souffle tiramisu. Now it's time yeah. for the bill. But as we're a sweet guest, the additional drinks we enjoyed are taken care of. I want his life. I want his life. Right? <coughs> right, so dinner out of the way. We're actually, we've arrived in Paris. So we're here for 40 minutes. It's nice to get off the train and get a bit of fresh air, but just getting used to seeing this train Beautiful. parked up against all of the sort of very modern trains, it's it's like something out of a movie. I mean, realistically, Millie and I were just saying that we watched Murder on the Orient Express recently, which um, I mean, I hope doesn't happen. The point is, is just seeing how beautiful the train was in that movie and seeing it in the flesh here is just, well, just so surreal. I didn't even see the outside <coughs> of the train. It's all nice and shiny too. It's beautiful, but I would not be getting out of that computer uh, considering what you paid for it. I'd be like, nope, staying in. True. <laughs> it is beautiful though. Nothing else. No. Yeah, we got a little bit confused there. We've just got back on. Now we're gonna head to the bar, but for some reason we walked the opposite direction, so. Uh, yeah, time to go over to uh, get a drink and make sure Millie doesn't get distracted by the uh, the boutique just here. Nice. Oh, look at that. That's nice lounge. There we 
go. Oh, would you That's look at nice. this? It's all been turned down for bed. So I've noticed one thing this gift. Now I assumed it would be chocolates. However, look what it Maybe is. Maybe a watch. All right. <laughs> it's a pen. A pen. I love it. It's a great Still pen. Still got a Rolex. Nice. Can't eat it for right. the camera. Now it is finally time to get out of this formal wear. And, uh, well, let's be honest. Got a dressing gown to change into. Look at the sink, even. So the Every other thing that's pretty incredible, and I guess makes sense given how much these suites are, is this dressing gown, which is designed by Dolce & Gabbana, I can actually take with me home. I mean, that's a gift to remember, isn't it? I love it. Wait, what? Um, did, hold on, hold on. Did he just say he could take the D&G robe home with him? Mm hmm he did. But did they charge you extra that? <laughs> I mean, I don't, I think he would say that you'd have to pay for it, not you can take it home. Right. I am more yes. jealous. Included in the room charge. I'm, I'm, well, this is where they get you. This is mm -hmm. why it costs so much. But that's cool. That is. Okay. What? Now this is much more like it. We'll have a proper full look around this bathroom in the morning. Of course, in the morning, I've also got to have a shower. And you know how hilarious that usually is. Yeah, I can't wait to show this. <laughs> kind of. He does. That is a huge room. It's a train. <coughs> also, just a side note, a massive thanks to Millie who's put up with all the filming today. How's it been coming along on one of these trips? Amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been good. Apart from having to be, well, my camera girl. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, with that, I'll catch you all in the morning. Lucky. Yeah, they didn't sleep. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you wouldn't. The next day. Would you just sleep on that train? Leave it alone. That's mm. all I'll say. Yeah. No. Hey. Good morning. I've got to say, sleeping on the Orient Express, certainly among the more comfier way to travel by rail. Beautiful. Oh, that's just happy. Switzerland, I've always wanted to visit you. You're stunning. It's time for breakfast, and this is no ordinary affair. Eat whenever you want from, frankly, a huge selection of options. We chose to take breakfast at 8.30, as this is when we start to head into the Swiss Alps. Yes! I start with the lobster and avocado on toast, which aside from being the most beautiful breakfast I've ever ordered, tasted incredible. To complement this, I went with a fresh cappuccino as I move on to the next course. Naturally, you guessed it poached eggs and caviar. This nice. really is the wow. breakfast of champions, complementing the outstanding alpine views playing out before our very eyes. I'd yeah. cry. If we got to do that for one day and we had to get off, I'd be like, no, you can't take the, I'd be like, grab it on. No, I'm not leaving. About to head up into the Alps, which I'm so excited about. The views already have been un unbelievable. Um, I think they're about to get a whole lot better. I think they are too. I'd be hanging out that window the whole time. Now time to finish off with another coffee. They've made me a beautiful cappuccino, so now I think it's time to go and drink coffee in bed whilst we go through yeah. the Swiss Alps. best bits of advice I can give if you ever take this trip is to get up at a reasonable time. Besides paying an awful lot of money to be on this train, you don't want to miss the scenery uh, in the morning. And like us, uh, you can just have a coffee in bed, watching the world go by. Still hang out the window. Yep, I'm with you. Now it is time to have a sh- Debbie and I will look like two dogs. <laughs> no, I didn't mean like that. I meant with our heads out, out the, the window. window. Still. Why is your tongue? <laughs> I don't know. It's still be I'm out. just like, our hair is like flying by. Like... <laughs> now I'm making the sound, but the tongue's not out. I don't know. We just look like two cocker spaniels or something. It's like, <laughs> I don't know what my hands are up here. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Buy me a coffee link in the description if you want to see that. <laughs> I said I'd stop. This time I mean it. Get the coffee and coffee. Oh, he's getting ready. Right he's getting ready to have a shower. Look at that view. Mm. The rich have a good life. Now it is time to have a shower. And this is quite unique because most of the compartments on the train do not have a shower or access to one. Of course, this actually does really? because it's the newer suites. 
Watch, you know what's gonna happen? The water? It's gonna be like Swiss Alp water <laughs> that you shower with. Extra mineralized. Yeah. See what it's like. The Grand Sweet bathroom is unlike any on board a train. In fact, this makes my bathroom at home look pedestrian. Note the subtle Turkish influences and a nod to the suite's name, Istanbul. I just love the attention to detail everywhere you look, even the mosaics on the wow. floor, which by the way is heated, are absolutely stunning. Aside from the gradual rock of the train, you could easily forget you're on one. Right, the main event, the shower. It's killing me. With both golden rainfall and shower head attachments, it's a special place to be. Unlike the Caledonian Express, the shower provides a constant warm cleansing experience with great water pressure, much like back at home. Shower done and feeling a million bucks, let's get changed into my smart casual attire. At this point, I'm reminded my Tims are far back home in England. They'll be back next week, everyone. Don't worry. I'm not worried. <laughs> Instead of the amenity kit you get in the twin compartment, you get an entire drawer in the suites, complete with my favourite Marvis toothpaste. Never heard. After another hour or so winding through the Swiss countryside, wow. we're almost at the Swiss-Italian border, Chiasso. It's the country of your people. It is. Okay. I'm sold. Sure it'll come at no surprise to you but it's yet again food time i'm helped down by our lovely cabin attendant antoinette hi good, good thank you, you. <laughs> so we have decided to take the scenic route to lunch um of course we'd usually walk through the train let's walk outside now we're currently on the italian swiss border i think we're here for about 15 more minutes so it's a chance to stretch the legs uh, some passengers have taken this as the chance for a smoke break because you can't smoke on the train. Oh, the just kidding. Food, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, anyway, we're going to walk stuff. over and get some food. Are you hungry? Very hungry. <laughs> I feel like all we're doing this trip though is eat. <laughs> That's a good idea, walking outside though. See, the outside of the train is so freaking gorgeous. <laughs> Let's head straight to Etoile de Nord. I'm sure that's horribly pronounced, so sorry. Another one of the three restaurants on board the train. And given how busy it is, this is what it looks like when it's empty. Oh, beautiful. Right, food time. Another solid menu today. And no, I'm not tempted with more caviar. I think I've had my fill until next week. There's more of the phenomenal Parisian bread and saffron infused butter, which go down a treat with both Millie and I, whilst we wait for our appetizers. I've gone for the green asparagus. It looks, as all the other dishes do, stunning, and I thoroughly enjoyed it, although I could only eat about half. Now, I love asparagus, but I felt there's a little too much of a good thing, plus the blood orange was overpowering, in my opinion. As we depart Chiasso, we officially enter Italy, third and final country of this adventure. Now for my favourite dish of the trip, the supreme poultry, or, well, chicken, with an albufera oh, sauce weird. infused with a 100-year-old uh -huh. Armagnac. This dish really? alone has grown chicken for me. Unbelievable scenes. Mm. As we trundle ever further into Italy, it's not long before dessert arrives. Strawberries and vanilla vacherin. I'm so pleased this was on the menu. Oh, it's, it's not something I'd ordinarily order, and I'd certainly jump at having this option again. The contrast of the creamy vanilla and sharp strawberry was simply sublime. Okay. Looks very good. This would be like, is this like oh, a so fantasy nice. trip for you now? I mean, Debbie wants to go to Italy more than anywhere in the world, because she's got a, t a lot of Italian ancestry, mm -hmm. and I don't blame you, and we're doing that soon, someday. Yes. I mean, if, if we can take this train <laughs> through Italy, we're there. I mean, it's going to Venice. Well, let's go. This is crazy. I want to eat that thing. I want to get out eating. and walk around and see Italy, too. I don't. Well, yeah. I mean, you just go to a certain point and you get yeah. out and do whatever you want to. It was simply sublime. <laughs> Right, so lunch all out of the way. Now I think Millie and I are gonna go and write some postcards because on the Orient Express, they have a postal service. More about that. What? Okay. <laughs> they do. Wouldn't expect that. Pigeons? Pigeons? Maybe. So freaking beautiful. Oh, wow, look at that room. I know, every detail. Ha. <laughs> I didn't expect all this, guys. Nope. So, Millie and I have arrived back at the scene of the crime last night, the bar car. Got a pen? Got a pen? Look at that, I love that. 
Yeah, I'm sure. And That's then perfect. some nice postcards. Nice. If anybody's a pen, we have a P.O. Box address in the description of all of our videos. <laughs> That's about the closest we'll ever get, Debbie. A pen. Hey, if, we could do that. I don't even know if we could get that close, but that'd be about the closest. <laughs> oh, wow. Pretty postcards. I think this is such a lovely and thoughtful touch Belmont have thought of here. It's becoming a forgotten tradition, I feel. So I I'm agree. glad we're able to take advantage of this on-rail postal service. Next, we're heading to the only restaurant we've not explored yet. Yeah, and I'm gonna say right now that I'm shocked by this one because the carpet is tacky. That is horrible. Yeah, it's a little busy. That's awful. You don't think? It's a little busy. You know what that reminds me of? Um. Not sure. This time period. <laughs> this time period. It could be blockbuster. Not blockbuster, but this time period. Like going into a, f a, a movie theater in the mall yes, in yes. the 90s. That's what the carpet looked like. Yes, this yes. I did not expect on here. That is very... You guys agree? Very true. Let me know if you agree. That is very out of place on this it's... beautifully expensive, luxurious train. I would agree with you. Oh, there. boy. That's just wrong. No. La Oriental. It's clearly <coughs> inspired by the East, but sadly not open to dining during our trip. However, they have set up a bunch of board okay, games, and I promised Millie the... I'd teach her how to play Carpet chess. Bad. Well, that doesn't look like chess, Millie. I was going to teach I was going to teach Millie some chess, but that looks like checkers. I like the chair color. Yeah, just the carpet was a little bright. The carpet's bothering me. So I'm very happy to announce that I won. Three of three. Um, Millie's very upset. Sure, he did. No, poor Luke. No, I'm joking. It was Millie's first time playing. So really? We'll give her a break. Ever? Anyway, we've just arrived in Verona. Let's quickly head down to the platform, check it out, and head back to our compartment because it's time for afternoon tea. Ooh. And I would have afternoon tea on this. Millie and I both couldn't remember this gentleman's name, but he was by far our favourite in the restaurant car. Amazing personalised service. Well, Millie, have you been to Verona before? I have not. Well, new place. We have been advised strictly not to go any further away from the train because it will leave without us. Oh. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I just stay in for that reason. What's so nice about the Orient Express is every little detail is taken care of. The room has been made up again. It's just beautiful. It, so mm -hmm. it really does never get old. And I, I know, of course, given the price point, you do expect a certain level of attention to detail, but it is impeccable. With that, yeah, you've guessed it, it's time for afternoon tea, complete with brioche bun, creme fraiche, and my requested Japanese green tea. There's also jellied fruits and cookies. Yes, please. This is very civilised, and I, I really don't want to burn myself. You know when in restaurants they say something's hot, don't touch it? I want to touch it, <laughs> apparently. I'm the same, man. <laughs> right? So I've got a little napkin. Oh, this is chaos. How am I going to do this? This is an accident waiting to happen. I would totally have tea. That'd be me and you. Post afternoon tea, I think it's time to check out some of the other compartments, namely the one I originally booked, the twin room. Okay. These are laid out as a sofa during the day, but then bunk beds during the night. There's no ensuite toilet, instead, just an in room sink. These are the far more are authentic versions <laughs> of the sleeper compartments on the original Orient Express, and they're what okay. travelling in the 20s and 30s would have been oh. like. The suites wow. are only a modern addition for those wanting ensuite bathrooms gorgeous. and showers. Mm. If you're wondering where you'd go to the bathroom when staying in a twin room, these are located in each train car okay. and shared between other sleeper passengers. Like these that. are kept very clean and well stocked with Lalique amenities throughout the trip. But will you ask, how did you and Millie get that swanky upgrade? Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I paid for this trip just like any other passenger. No YouTuber shortcuts, discounts, or indeed point redemptions. Wait, really? Instead, I booked through my friend who runs a luxury travel agency. Hold on, the hold luxury on. I thought he didn't pay for these things. I honestly thought he was because of his channel and stuff, interviews, he was getting these for free. I... He didn't. He just said he did not. Yeah. What? But again, how did he get that luxury upgrade? I mean, we'll find that out, but I'm just surprised that he's paying for this at all. Okay. Didn't know. 
for this trip just like any other passenger. No YouTuber shortcuts, discounts, or indeed point redemptions. Instead, I booked through my friend who runs a luxury travel agency, okay. theluxurytraveler.com. You get what's called Bellini benefits when booking through him, which can result in space available upgrades in luxury hotels, and in this case, trains. The link to his website is Why down below. Right? <laughs> We've just arrived here at the mainland Venice station. However, we're gonna be going across the causeway actually into Venice that you know of Venice. There you go. You geeking out? Well, with that, we have arrived in Venice. And this is the unfortunate end of this incredible journey across the continent of Europe. And there we have it. Welcome to Venice. What an incredible journey that was. Jealousy. Yep. I don't know if I'm happy that we did that or not. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I don't know. I'm feeling kind of down now. I feel kind of poor. <laughs> no, I actually really, really enjoyed that a lot. I, I had nothing to go off of, had not peeked at mm -hmm. this, had not looked at it. Um, took your guys' word for it, and thanks for letting us know. I mean, I, like I said, I knew it existed, but I never looked at it, and um, that is insanely luxurious. That is so beautiful. Um, the, like you said, the wooden, I don't know what kind of wood that was. I want to say mahogany, but I don't know. Yeah, so shiny know. always i mean yeah. even when they're walking Perfect. down the hallways there's, there's no handprints no smudges <laughs> anything because i was looking <laughs> <laughs> it was just absolutely gorgeous and stunning <laughs> she would do that too she's like there is a Mrs. she'd be called that'd be like butler button right <laughs> hit the butler button uh, excuse me sir <laughs> there is a thumbprint on my wall you're gonna need to come in here and the guy would come in with a white glove. I'd have to call him back in after hanging out the window because there'd be handprints all over everything. Can you get that? Yeah, we paid for this. She better be cleaning every I can't daggone see spot. Out the window, because there's <laughs> my my handprint. <laughs> and, and my drool going down the window. <laughs> Sorry. I am very jealous of that. I mean that was just amazing. And the amount of caviar he had. Uh. Incredible. Yeah, but he paid extra for that. And he paid I mean, extra for the drinks. 24 7, pretty much all the champagne you can drink. You don't drink, so that wouldn't be a nice <laughs> thing for you. But. That means like, no, there's more for me. They're gonna <laughs> give me champagne and I'm paying that kind of money. I'm gonna be drinking. It. You're gonna be drunk after two glasses, girl. <laughs> and then I'm gonna fall into that mirror thing that cost, you know, $27,000. <laughs> wouldn't be a good idea. <laughs> I mean, that was just incredible. Every bit of that train was gorgeous. Definitely a bucket list trip for any person that has a heart a heart beating. Um, mm -hmm. That was beautiful, amazing, incredible. I mean, 24 hours on that, yeah. I would consider my life pretty much, I'm good. I can die happy now. I think I need like three days though. Like I said, you'd have to like pull me away from that crap. Mm -hmm. After living like that for a day, like, I don't want to go back to normalcy. <laughs> don't put me back. This is my new life. <laughs> you like, butler, I need my pillow fluff. <laughs> yeah, I'll be sitting here at home going, where's my butler button? And then you'll hit me in the head with the pillow. If you guys enjoyed that half as much as we did, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to our channel where we have a lot of ridiculous fun and watch things like this that depress the crap out of us. <laughs> we get to share it with you. Yeah, so let's all feel poor. <laughs> no, I don't feel poor at all. I'm very thankful for what we have, for what you and I have worked for Absolutely. in our lives. <clears throat> and hopefully you are as well. There are so many people in the world, you know, that have nothing. And we're all should be very grateful to what we do have um, mm -hmm. because it, it can always be so much worse. Um, those who can't afford such luxuries in life, good for them, you know, good for them. However they, they got there, unless it's illegal, but not good for you. Shame on you. I really hope you enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun for us. And um, now I'm gonna go cry in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Until then, please. Love like jazz. Be as strong as Tyson. Bye.